What are you bastards yapping about? That's enough. Is there any rum left? I cannot be dealing with all of you while being sober. Oh, here it is. So, what story are you guys sharing? Ooh, what made you bring him up? It's all right. But at least, if you're going to be telling stories, tell them right. Captain Edward Lowe is one of the least people you'd like to meet in the sea. He was born into poverty in Westminster, London. And he, just like most of us, he was a thief from a very young age. His wife died in childbirth in 1719. Two years later, he became a pirate, operating off of coasts of New England and the Azores and in the Caribbean. He terrorized western coasts of North America gaining reputation of an extremely violent pirate. He took 13 ships at anchor in Nova Scotia by deception. He took seven ships in the St. Michael's Roads. He didn't need to fire a shot. He just threatened them all with the instant death. He then resumed six of the vessels to the local governor who gave him water and supplies in exchange for ships. I remember hearing stories about how he had ships cook tied to the main mast of the ship and burned alive. In other cases, aside from normal beatings and slashings of the crew that offered resistance, he had ears and limbs looped off. One extreme case was when they have captured Portuguese ship, the Nostra Signora de Victoria. Lo and his crew tortured these aboard to divulge where their money was. The captain confessed that he threw out his cabin window into the sea a money bag with 11,000 mine domes in gold, a small fortune. Lowe flew into rage. He massacred crew of the Victoria, killing them all. 
He had the captain's lips cut off and boiled in front of him before he, too, was murdered. He had monsoon, so I had to make a deal with him. I helped him to improve his ship, Fancy, and in exchange, he gave me this beauty that I wouldn't change into anything. Let's just say that all stories are true. He proved himself not to be trusted, so I couldn't risk losing Monsoon when we almost had her. First unwritten rule, darling. Never trust a pirate. There you are. Are you hungry, baby? Basil is not just any bird, he's my crew member. Anyways, I should get you something to eat, right honey? Everybody get some sleep, we got work to do in the morning. We're going to meet an old friend. Silas! Lovely, as always, aren't you? It's in our blood, mate. Now. Let's get to business, shall we? I've heard from a friend of a friend that there is this island that has a cave filled with treasure. But the only problem is that they have residents. And those people aren't willing to give the treasure that easily. Well, you know what they say, if you make a mistake, you have to repeat it at least three times. This is different. Exactly. But what if we made a deal with them as well? More power equal victory. gotta be kidding me. How come almost every step I take I hear his name? Is he now? He wants to kill me. Well, get in line. I got enemies all over the ocean. Do you know if he has any idea where I am? Silas? What did you do?
Come on, guys, we gotta get out of here. Hurry! Eh, I don't really blame him. I understand why he told me off. It's not easy these days for captains. Our crew comes first. But that's exactly why you never trust a pirate. Not really, honestly. As hectic as my current life is, I wouldn't change it for nothing. My father was a pirate. He abandoned me when I was little. Since my mother died in childbirth, I was raised by my uncle, who was already in this lifestyle. It just so happens that the apple doesn't go far from the tree. In the first years of my life, I hated him with my entire heart. But now, I start to realize that I'm no better than him. Thank you. I don't know how I was able to get through everything without you. Of course, anything. Hmm, I'm not sure. There's a lot of officers roaming around. Well then. I suppose that's where we're going. You take care of yourself, okay? Actually, I was thinking the exact same thing, Henry. But you be careful. Don't let nobody know who you are. Understood? That's Henry. Quickly! Help him to get up! What happened to you? Oh, thank God you're okay. Somebody injured him. We have to bring him inside. Oh, hey, 
We thought we lost you. Take it easy. Your wound is pretty bad. You'll live. Well, I was hoping you will tell us that. Who hurt you like that? Of course. What? Right. Vincent! Let's get out of here as soon as possible. It doesn't matter. It's you. <laughs> He live. I'm gonna go to my room. I'm tired. Can I ask you something? I know I always say that you cannot trust a pirate, but can I trust you? Yep, everything's fine. Tortuga. We're gonna trade some coffee and tobacco with some people I know. Vincent, that's not how you tie a knot, for the love of everything. It's okay. I got it all covered. All right. If you want to, it's up to you. Come in. Bring those boxes in the room. I'm afraid this time is going to be a bit different. I couldn't find the cannons you asked me, so instead I'm gonna pay you in money. Boys! Don't move those boxes anywhere. That's not part of the deal. So is your last minute announcement about your incapability to get what you promised to get. You know very well that it's not the money that I need. You also know that you're the only one who's able to get those cannons. The cannons you're looking for aren't that easy to find illegally. 
That is why I asked you for help. You know, you're just like your father. Well, you know how they say, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Just like father. The most common mistake every person on this earth is doing is underestimating their enemy. I give you two weeks to find those cannons or the deal is off. Am I clear? More than you can imagine. Though I don't understand one thing. Monsoon is a fully upgraded ship. Why do you need those cannons? None of that concerns you. Let's go guys. Give me something strong, buddy. Pardon? We trust each other, don't we? So you did went there. <laughs> Do as they say. be necessary you missed me you're supposed to be dead people die every day everyone knows that that night when you stabbed me I couldn't help but think that there's no way in hell I'm dying off of hand of a pirate my doctor came in on time and saved me at that exact moment I made myself a promise that the next time opportunity to kill all of you arrives, I'll take it. So you can imagine the joy I felt after I found out about your dear lover that has came to my people to ask for our help and protection in exchange for some money. What? I knew that was my opportunity, so I took it. The Royal Navy has nothing to do with it. They don't know about my grand plan. That's your grand plan? To kill us all? Yes. Wow. <laughs> but I'm not doing it myself. I've learned that the strongest in the room isn't necessarily the one who is physically strong, but the one who is controlling the physically strong one. You're on your way to meet an old friend, Iris. Now, if you're pardon me, I have things to do. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. 
I've trusted you. How else do you want me to look at this? When will you understand that I don't need to be protected? Especially from a royal navy that has been trying to kill us ever since the beginning of time. I've lost so much because of them. And you still went there to ask for help. And now this witch is taking us somewhere and I don't know what to do. We're stopping. There's a small window. What? Well, what does it look like? What? It's his ship. Captain Bowes, we're done. We're officially done. No, you don't understand. He's going to kill us all with no hesitation. Not this time. Well, I wish I could tell you that it's nice to meet you, but you're a smart man, Lo. You understand. Like I promised, Iris and her crew. From certain sources, I have gathered that she has been in the market for cannons that just happens to fit your ship perfectly. Poor thing thought that if she would finish her part of the deal, she won't have to worry about you coming for her. Little does she know, I pried that woman and I already had a deal with Captain Lowe. See, Iris? I always win. Go to hell. <laughs> Pure satisfaction of seeing you both getting killed. Please, do whatever you want with me, but release my crew. Mm. 
Right, this is very touching, but... <laughs> You're not gonna kill me. You need the money. It's okay. Go. I was trying to get those cannons. I didn't have the finances to get you those parts on time. She's not going to die today. She'll go through severe torture that she deserves. Meanwhile, all of you are going to be waiting for your death in this pathetic cell. <laughs>
You knew my father? Even though he was a pirate, he was a great man. It was you who did it. When I came to you, you, you already knew who I was? Drop your weapons! I knew I couldn't leave you unsupervised. You pirates cannot be reliable whatsoever. Drop your weapons! Now! Did you not hear me? I said... <laughs> you filthy pirate. For the longest time, I wanted to find a man who's responsible for my father's death. And here you are. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. You are going to hear everything I need to say whether you like it or not. You lived your life like a worthless pirate who found joy in torturing other souls. And you will die like a dog. I'm nothing like you. I just... I just... 
killed my father? No, let me go to him, please, please. I want you to know that I forgive you. You fooled me till the end, but I don't feel hatred anymore. Because as horrible as you are, you're still my father. <gasps> I have to forgive you and myself because this is the only way I'll be able to live. Is it weird that I feel at peace? Mm. As horrible as my father was, I still got a chance to meet him and look him in the eye. Which I never thought I'd be able to. Yes. The amount of people he tortured is unreal. I'm glad I was able to put an end to it. Henry, could you please leave us for a moment? I'm sorry for everything, for not believing you, for treating you poorly without any explanation. I apologize. Out of all people, you didn't deserve any of that. And what was that? <laughs> really? Now you agree with me. And you saved mine. Again. <laughs> I'll never doubt you ever again because I love you. Okay, well, are you ready to go to that island? <laughs>